As noted in the reading that preceded this video, the reference in the 2 plus 4 treaty to the self-determination of the German people served the German reunification, but it did not result in the creation of any new state. The German Democratic Republic, GDR, ceased to exist as a state, while the Federal Republic of Germany, FRG, continued to exist as a state. The Federal Republic embodied the German state since the end of the Second World War. It continued the legal personality of the German Reich. And when the GDR disappeared, the Federal Republic continued its own personality as the German state and it succeeded to the deceased GDR. In other words, the German reunification offers an interesting case of a combination of state continuity and state succession. Matters of state succession or state continuity raise very difficult and complex international legal questions and they would deserve a separate course on their own. Usually, many of these issues are settled by specific agreements and treaties. Conceptually, the important point is to see that in a situation of succession, a subject, usually a new state, but not in the case of the Federal Republic of Germany, which existed already and succeeded to the GDR, takes over from a former uh, one. There is an interruption, a break between two separate legal entities. In a situation of continuity, there is no such interruption. The same legal person continues to exist. And for instance, and as already mentioned, South Sudan became independent in 2011. South Sudan is said to be a successor state to Sudan on the part of the former Sudanese territory, which is now South Sudan. But Sudan, despite having lost a part of its territory, continues the international personality of the Republic of Sudan, and there is no new state in that regard. And to take another example, Czechoslovakia was peacefully dissolved as a state and stopped to exist as such on 1st January 1993. And it was replaced by two new states, the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic. None of those new states claimed legal identity with Czechoslovakia and none of them continued the international personality of the deceased Czechoslovakia. They both succeeded to it as new subjects of international law.